everybody and welcome back to my channel so i am back i took a week off of filming videos and i just feel like at the end of every month i'm just gonna have a week at the end where i don't post videos and it's just like to help myself kind of reset that kind of thing and i've enjoyed not having to post this week obviously i don't have to post anyway my channel's just like a hobby thing but it's nice to have like a little break from hobbies from time to time as well so today i'm filming my january feelings favorites and fails i did not film one of these in a long time so towards the end of 2021 i kind of stopped filming these and i'm quite sad about that because i actually really enjoy filming these videos i feel like it's kind of like an indication as to how my month has gone it's like a roundup of the month it just to me i i just like i just like filming these okay so first of all my feelings of the month so this month has actually been a really positive start to 2022 i've been really happy this month a lot of people have said january has dragged on i don't think it's dragged on for me it's gone really quickly i don't know maybe I, like when you think about time and people say oh it's gone really quickly you think yeah it has gone quickly but then when you actually think back to like the start of the month and what you was doing at the beginning of the month i think actually that feels like a long time ago so i don't really know but i just feel like it's gone quick maybe I don't know but anyway i've had my birthday this month i've turned 22 yeah apart from that there's not that much i've actually done this month but i've been going to work i haven't been going in um as much as i used to before christmas because i've not been needed as much um because january is a bit of a slow month but i have enjoyed going in when i do because i like routine <laughs> if you know me you know i like routines schedules organizations lists everything like anything to do with organizing my life and routines i love it so i like to have that like schedule of get up at this time go to work have my break at this time and my lunch at this time blah 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 i i just like that kind of thing and that's what makes me happy so i do actually enjoy going into work and i enjoyed like my job in general and what i do and the only other things that i've pretty much done this month is kind of like cleaning in my flat i've enjoyed cleaning and also playing sims loved playing sims um so apart from that not really done a whole bunch this month so now for my actual favorites so a couple of skincare -y bits the first thing is this so this is an spf and this is from altruist altruist i don't know but it's spf 50 and i wear sun cream every single day or spf every single day to my moisturizer so this is the last step of my morning skincare routine i only use moisturizer and spf in my morning skincare routine anyway if you don't wear spf every day you need to basically if you want youthful looking skin when you're older then you need to do this the sun is always out okay that's why we can see daylight in the day because the sun is there and it still has its rays coming through and those kind of harmful rays that will affect your skin it will mean that your skin will age quicker basically so it is important to wear spf every single day even if you don't leave the house because the sun's rays can get through the windows okay guys <laughs> it goes through the windows so just make sure you do but this is a really nice one it's not greasy but I've got oily skin and I'm absolutely fine with this product like it's not like making my skin really really oily like I have it on today and my skin does not look oily at all and um, obviously underneath my makeup and yeah I really like this so if you're looking for an SPF that is high you know it's SPF 50 then this is a great one to go for and it just glides onto the skin really nicely and it doesn't smell like sun cream or anything like that another skincare product is this <laughs> yeah it is my own product so this is the fresh face by georgie carr lemon scented cleansing balm it is mine from my own little skincare business i wanted to include this because genuinely i have i hadn't used this for like a month because i ran out of my own one and i ran out of the ingredients to make one so when i got my ingredients back to make myself one i was so happy because i've been like using wipes to remove my makeup and i just don't like that with this product what i do is i take a little bit in my hand and i massage it into my hand like this first to warm the product up and then i apply it onto my face to kind of remove my makeup i will do a skincare routine and show this in the future but not right now because i, I want to keep my makeup on right now okay but i i just love how quick it is it's also very softening to the skin as well which i also really like and um all the links are in the description by the way if you want to go and check it out i think it's yeah it's £8.99 and it comes with a flannel um a free flannel by the way because it is winter and if you do kind of leave this in a cold room because this is we're good i dropped it on the floor and um, because it's oils based um if it's colder then the ingredients will be more set 
so you do kind of have to just warm it up in your hand a little bit more in the colder months unless you leave it somewhere where it's warm it'll be absolutely fine um but it works just fine like i really love this product and i've tried a lot of cleansing balms and i do i just really like this one and i have kind of altered the formula as time has gone on to to make it so that i just love it and yeah i just can't take my makeup off without this i just i just miss it if i don't and i do remove it with a damp flannel um if you are wondering also what is good about this is that you can use it as a little bit of a face mask so if you don't have any makeup on you can actually pop this onto your skin leave it on for about five minutes and wash it off and your skin is really really soft so that's another thing that i would recommend doing as well if you um want to give this a try but yeah like i said all links to my little skincare business will be in the description we have a few makeup products so first of all I have this so this is from makeup obsession this is the mega conceal and it says it's a long wear concealer with caffeine I've mentioned this in favorites videos before many 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 times and I switched to a different concealer that was a little bit more full coverage um I think it was from the collection I'm not sure and some concealers just don't blend or they dry really quickly and they're really hard to blend this one blends so quickly it's so so nice and i remember i used to love this and um, by the way it's in the shade number four if you're wondering i used to love this and then i seen um on youtube that tarty a makeup youtuber mentioned that she didn't like this product and i love it and that's when i realized that you can't really take someone else's opinion um and like use that as your own opinion because I really love this and the reasons why I love it is because it blends really well it's nice coverage it's a nice shade and there's nothing that I don't like about this product so I think that's why you should always try things for yourself develop your own opinions and you know she is a makeup expert and she dislikes this a lot whereas I love it and you know maybe I'm wrong for liking it but I, I like it it's nice so yeah have your own opinions then we have this blusher actually i've got a couple of um makeup products from vive so yeah this is from vive it's from her sunset blush range um jamie genevieve owns this makeup brand vive she is a youtuber and this is in the shade pesca it's a really nice peachy pink shade i've got it on my cheeks today and i just really love peach blushes if you've been following me for years you'll know that i do love peach blushes blends really nicely nicely pigmented and then her lipstick I also have it on today so if you're wondering what's on my lips it is this i do have a different lip liner on by the way um but yeah this is the shade it's in the shade 90s and basically in the 90s people wore like more brownie kind of lipsticks and that's the kind of lipsticks i like like i love like brown nude lipsticks i'm not like a I don't know like i don't really tend to wear anything other on a day-to-day -day basis so this is like literally my perfect lipstick blends really nicely stays on really nicely and i love it then a cheeky little eyeshadow palette i really have been loving this i have also been loving jamie genevieve's eyeshadow palette but i've left that at my mum's um so i can't really show you that but yeah this eyeshadow palette is great it's got loads of different colored shades in it i used it on my eyes today to do this kind of like pinky purple makeup look and it's just got so many different colors in there so many different textures there's mattes there's shimmers there's like mattes with a hint of shimmer in them like this one here and they're really nicely pigmented they blend really well and i was kind of shocked at how high quality this palette actually was and just if you're wondering this is the revolution x corpse bride palette right i've got a few kind of homeware cleaning bits so first of all, we have this spray, which I love this. So this is the Isa Flora Multi-Purpose Disinfectant Cleaner. And this one is in the scent Lemon Zing. I didn't know that Zaflora did these. I think they must be new. I'm not sure. Correct me if I'm wrong. But I'm obsessed with Zaflora. So the actual, like, don't die on me. Sorry, my laptop was going to die. Um, so the actual Zaflora bottles but this is like a spray and yeah i use this for everything like if anything needs a wipe down like my surfaces or anything i will use this if i've spilled something somewhere i will use this to help clean that up it's just a great product and i would highly recommend to use this it will last you a long time and it wasn't expensive at all so yeah i literally love it i really love it i love cleaning products I really do. Next up is another cleaning product, um, obviously, and this is from W5. I think I picked this up from Wilco's, or no, I picked it up from Lidl. Lidl. 
Um, so this is oven cleaner, so obviously specific to cleaning the oven. I did not realise how good this stuff actually is. I would highly recommend. I literally sprayed it in my oven, left it for about 20 minutes, came back and it had lifted all of the dirt that was inside my oven. You have to be careful with the smell of this because yeah, like the actual um, chemicals are not good for your lungs. So don't, you know, breathe it in or anything. But yeah, works very, very well. That's all I'm gonna say. So I have these which are from Lenore. These are the pink Wednesdays edition, um, like unstoppables. And, oh, they don't even say Unstoppables on them, aren't they Unstoppables? Anyway, um, these are in the shade Peony and Raspberry Blush. These are what I put in my washing machine. So I'll put like my normal washing detergent in and then I'll add these like little bowl things as an extra. And it genuinely makes such a difference to like when you're washing your clothes. Like, look at that. Like, look how cool they look. Anyway, I'll, oh, now I've got to pull them back in. Oh, crap. Anyway, whilst I'm doing this, basically, yeah, they just make such a difference to the smell of your clothes. And I will continue to use these as various different scents and things like that. So I would recommend going and checking these out. Another kind of cleaning product related thing is this. So this is like a reed diffuser, it's magnolia scented. And the reason why I wanted to include this is because when I received this, I realized um, for Christmas, I realized that I'm obsessed with the smell of magnolia. I didn't even know I liked the smell of magnolia until now. This candle here is also um, magnolia. These were in like a set and yeah, I love it. So I wanted to include this because that's my new favourite smell. Right, it's January. January is usually the month for planning for people and then kind of tails off. For me, every month is a planning month. I love planners. I have two planners here. I just wanted to mention that I really love these. They're both from B&M. This one is like my weekly planner. So I will like plan what I kind of get up to um, sort of in a week in here. And then this one is specific to my skincare business. I actually had this exact planner with a different design last year and I used it all through the year consistently, loved it. So I actually repurchased it, but with just like a different kind of color scheme. And I absolutely love planning. It's my favorite thing to do on a Sunday is to kind of sit down and just plan my week, plan what I need to do, what I'm gonna post on social media, etc. And Finally, this is my final um, homeware thing. This is a chopping board. So I received a gift voucher from a friend for my birthday and I went to TK Maxx and I bought this really nice, very heavy chopping board and also some like nice tea towels. And yeah, this is what it looks like. It's marble. It just makes basically like chopping vegetables on it a little bit more hygienic than using like a, a wooden chopping board and I just like it like I like the aesthetic of it and everything it is very heavy so this could do some damage if it like hit someone on the head but wanted to include that because I really love that so I have another favorite that I can't exactly like physically show you but it is sims I've been loving playing sims 4 on the playstation I just sit there and play sims and yeah i really love it i didn't even realize that the characters could die one of my characters just randomly died like obviously they got to old age and i was thinking oh this is interesting like do they just stay old and it was like oh um your character's going to die in a few days and i was like and then it did oh my jesus christ and then this weird demon thing came over got rid of my character and left like ashes in a pot thing and i was like oh okay that's nice did not know that happened. So um, yeah, I, did, I didn't play Sims that much um, before now. So I, I didn't know that was a thing, but yeah. <laughs> I thought that was quite funny. I was like, oh my God. So my next character's old as well. So she's gonna die soon as well then. Then we've got YouTube favorites. Um, my current favorite YouTube channel is Clutter Free Zone. I've mentioned her before in a video, but she makes loads of, Oh, sorry, lorry scared me. <laughs> she makes loads of cleaning related videos, organizations, decluttering videos, tidying, blah, 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 like loads of videos. So go and check that out. I will link her channel in the description if you are interested. TV, um, The Apprentice. I've been watching The Apprentice on a Thursday. I love The Apprentice. It's my all time fave for a program. Always has been and probably always will be as long as I don't discontinue doing it. But yeah, I really love The Apprentice, so I've been watching that. 
I also watched Afterlife written by G Jicky Bravais. I was going to say written by Jicky Bravais. Written by Ricky Gervais and yeah I loved watching that. I've just yesterday finished watching the end of series three which I'm assuming is the last um, series like that's the last episode ever because I don't really feel like he could do any more for it um, based on how it ended but yeah watch that and also hell's kitchen i never watched hell's kitchen before like a few months ago and i actually started watching it um like back years and years ago started watching um like the first few episodes and i actually really like it so yeah i should have watched that ages ago but i only just started so i like that now we've got some fails well i've got one fail i don't like to include too many fails because i don't want to be too negative about the month i can't actually physically show you the product because i did check it out but I can show you an image on the screen but it's a face mask from Lush and this is actually I, I can't remember the exact name of it but it was like a goldy color obviously I will leave it on the screen but basically uh, -uh. I don't like their face masks in general now these obviously like are fresh face masks and the woman did say to get it used within two weeks but that would mean me using it like twice a day <laughs> like I'm not gonna be there using a face mask the same one like every day or whatever like I like to have a face mask that will at least last like two months so yeah I just wanted to say I don't like this mask I don't like them in general because they don't last long enough for me I knew that when I purchased it so it is my own fault but I yeah because it does go funny after a while and you physically cannot apply it um after a while because obviously it doesn't stay fresh and you do have to keep it in the fridge but yeah, I just, it's just not my thing. I'm just not going to repurchase them. I know so many people like them and that's absolutely fine. That's great, but I just don't. That's everything for my January favourites for this month. I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm going to try and do one every single month. Overall, the month was pretty positive. Probably my favourite products um, from the month <laughs> is probably this little guy and also my chopping board. Really like that. But yeah, thanks for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye.